So today I'm happy to show you a Bjornstoll Dresden model base. And I do want to tell you right up front that this base was sold before we got it. But it's here for just a couple of days. And I thought it was uh, important to document what we've got to show you people. We have another one of these bases on order. And um, so I thought that uh, I could generate some interest with a video. Interesting shaped base. This is a very well thought out shape. It's got a narrow upper bout, 19 and a quarter. That's no bigger than most three quarter bases, smaller than some. So it's not difficult to reach around here. But this lower bout is 28 inches. So that would contrast with 25 and a half, 26 inches for most three quarter size bases. So easy to reach around on the top plenty of air volume in the in the body to produce a loud and full sound. And um, I want to show you the, the depth of the rib. This dimension here is hmm, a little bit on the big side. Just the wood from here to here is eight and a quarter. And then what's interesting about this is it does not narrow down uh, here. So that extra depth though it seems like a small thing, does add air volume inside the body and contribute to uh, a fullness of sound. Um, what I'd like to do is uh, give you a tour of the details, so let's start up at the top with <clears throat> one of the most spectacular details. I'm going to change these, the tuning just a little bit so that you can see French style tuning machines with these beautiful rosewood keys and the way they're sculpted is just, <laughs> it's really great. Um, uh, Björn Stoll always makes the, the neck nice and slender, so, um, and that's comfortable. Um, I would like to point out that this instrument has, um, it's a subtle detail, but it's nice. It's got a five layer purfling all the way around, front and back. And here you can see uh, Stoll's uh, typical detail on the button along with his uh, brand stamp on there. Um, the flame, as always, we've had several of these bases through the years. This is one of his better models and uh, so we uh, typically see nice flame grain as you do here on this one. So as we move down uh, the body of the base, then um, this has been set up, this is Lemur's work here with the bridge, but uh, we did uh, install these all wood adjusters here, in this case with uh, rosewood wheels. thought those were nice. And the base, the, the lower bout is big. So this is a very special tailpiece, extra long, um, to make the, the uh, proportions turn out right. <clears throat> and then, as I lay this down, you can see that Stoll has made this base with a, a separate um, pin here to hold the tension of the strings separate from the end pin. And this is our standard lemur end pin, also all this in uh, rosewood. Just your own assessment, are you finding that this base is responsive to the bow? Is it, or are you, is it, are you fighting it to get it to play? No, no it's very easy to play.
thanks for playing. Sounds great. I wanted to ask you a couple things about how the bass works for you, the musician. And one of the first things that I notice, and we'll we'll scope in on uh, in a, on other video, is that this rib is quite deep, and it does not narrow down here. And so the question I want to ask you is, does that affect the comfort? Does that make it uncomfortable? This does not make it uncomfortable. The lower bout is short enough that I can get around the bass without the deepness affecting my style. And it kind of looks like this, this uh, heel of the rib is na quite narrow here, and it seems like it goes beside your rib cage rather than somehow pushing the bass away from you. Did you get the same, the similar effects both sitting and standing with that? Yes. Okay. Uh, it's, it's easy to hear. I hope you guys hear it on the video, but certainly in the room it's easy to hear that the, the upper register has a, a really nice singing quality, a, a kind of a velvety sound. But from a musician's standpoint, is this bass responsive? You know, when you make a motion with the bow, does the bass get going? Absolutely. What I like about the upper register is I don't have to work hard to get that singing sound. Very responsive bass. And then what about the spiccato? Same with the spiccato. I can, I can get that, that going right away. Very articulate without working hard. Yeah, okay. That's great. Well, thanks a lot.